Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and it is that time of the month again when we're taking a look at the top Android icon packs, this time for November 2019. As always, everything's going to be linked in that description box down below for you guys to download yourselves, so let's take a look. So first up then we have the very simply named Crayon Icon Pack. Now this has some really nice icons in the actual pack itself. You're looking at around 4,497 icons and around 25 cloud wallpapers with also six custom widgets and seven Zupa widgets. Now in regards to the look and feel of the icons themselves, you can see here that you've got a really nice selection of colors with some really thick black borders around the outside that in my opinion make the icons look really nice and kind of pop off the screen a little bit. You've also got the wallpapers that I mentioned beforehand, however for some reason they don't always load which is a little bit strange. You can then also apply them to any launcher you may be using and there is also an icon request tool as well so that if something isn't skinned you can go ahead request it very easily. So what I'm going to do is just apply the icons as you can see just here. So go across to the crayon icon pack and then as you can see this is what they're going to look like. Now the icons themselves do look very nice on a white app icon drawer as you can see just here. And again, you've got some really nice colors to them. Some of them do look nicer than others. So again, if you look at Flipboard, for example, which isn't actually themed, it's just gonna have an outline around the outside, which does kind of break the illusion of the full icon pack. Facebook looks a little bit strange with the black F instead of the normal white F, so some of the icons may be a little bit harder to identify straight away. Things like Twitter and the YouTube Studio icon though do look really nice, and again just the mix of colours and the black lines is something a little bit different. Now don't get me wrong, we have seen some more cartoony icons in the past, but I think this one does a really good job. Now one of the main reasons as well why I think it does such a good job is because of the wallpapers that come included with the crayon icon pack. And if sometimes the wallpapers don't load, you can hit the refresh button in the top right hand corner. So again, you can see some of these wallpapers, they are very simple, very bright and vibrant. But again, if I just go to this one here, which is a very light wallpaper, and then apply it with the icon pack, this is really when it comes to life and it looks really nice with the icon pack and the icons all together. Again, linked in the description. Next up then we have the Resicons icon pack. Now this is a very flat, clean icon pack for your Android device. Now you've only got around 943 custom icons and 68 cloud wallpapers and the icons themselves you can see there's a ton of variants in here as well so again in regards to the amount of icons that you've actually got so looking at the calendar and contacts for example here as well you do have some variants so there's not that many really to choose from but if you're into a very nice clean material design look then this is definitely a really awesome icon pack where it falls down for me is in the cloud wallpapers if you've ever used photoshop and clicked on on the cartoon effect this is kind of what a lot of the cloud wallpapers actually look like so i'm not a huge fan but there are some nice ones in there so again you've got 68 cloud wallpapers you can also request icons as well and again you can then apply it to any launcher so for me i'm going to go ahead and do that on my oneplus launcher which again a lot of people don't know i use because again really simple and again you can use custom icons so once you've got the icon pack installed the thing that i like is that you do have some nice uniform in regards to all of the icons being circular however one thing that is a little bit strange is that it still does skin some of these circular wallpapers so as you can see the camera does look nice but something like the uh, dope walls for example if I just head back into the app drawer real quick the dope walls icon is circular and again looks kind of a little bit strange sometimes because it's already a circular icon but again overall the icon pack does look nice and you've got some nice uniformity with the circles next up then we have Squircle or Squicle X but again it's basically square circle icons. You've got around 3,400 icons and 35 cloud wallpapers and as you can see here if you've ever used a Samsung device for example like the new Note or the new Galaxy S line then you're going to be very at home with these icons as they do have that kind of look and feel to them. They are very bright, very vibrant and they do have that square circle look. Some of them are very highly detailed like Asphalt here for example. The calculator not so much but overall it looks really nice you've also got some nice wallpapers in here as well again fitting in with the theme of the actual icons as well so very bright very vibrant but you do also have some that look really nice on an amoled screen as well so again fitting in with that samsung look and feel 
You do then also have the option to apply the icon pack directly to whichever launch you're going to be using and you can also request icons and you can see here from this list just how many aren't going to be skinned which again gives you a good idea of how many will. So again heading into my icon packs now and changing it over to the Squircle X icon pack you can see here that again it does very similarly match what you'd get on a Samsung device. Now it does mean that the icons may be a little bit simpler than what you're used to but I do like the fact that they're very bright, very vibrant and also the masking of certain applications that aren't actually skinned again it does look extremely nice because all it does really is just put this kind of square circle mask over the top of it so they don't really stand out all that much but again very bright very vibrant it's going to go with a ton of different setups and if you do also have a really colorful OLED screen then again these icons are going to look very nice Next up then you have the Sunrise Icon Pack and I've actually used the Moonrise Icon Pack before so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. You've got around 1049 icons and 60 wallpapers and as you can see here there is a lot of white and very light grey to these icons with some really nice material design shadows to them as well. So again they do look very nice, some of the icons themselves are extremely detailed, some like the Domino's icon for example are actually the shape of the Domino's logo which can look a little bit strange on home screens but again that's kind of the point with this icon pack not everything is going to be circular or square the wallpapers themselves are extremely simple but they do fit in nicely with the icon pack as well and you can see here that a ton of the wallpapers are basically exactly the same but they just come in a variety of different colors so when it says there's 60 wallpapers there's more like around 15 or 20 but again you've got the options and again you can apply it to any launcher and also go through and request any icon that may not be scaled at the time. Now once this icon pack is actually applied, one thing that I would definitely say is with Android 10 or just in general if you've got the option to use it, I would actually use this icon pack with a darker mode. So again, as you can see, a lot of the icons do have a white background to them and once I go into the application drawer, you can see here that they don't really stand out all that much. You do have some nice colours to them, but if I go into my display options, go down to theme and change it to dark, then you can see exactly how much better that is going to look with a really nice dark background and even a darker wallpaper it really allows the icons to pop and in my opinion look a load better than if you're going to be using a lighter theme or a lighter wallpaper so that's definitely something to keep in mind however with android 10 it's going to look really nice using the built-in dark mode or like i mentioned if you've got it already on your device i would turn it on and then lastly we have the last icon pack which is going to be simply named the unicorn icon pack. You've got a ton of icons that are skinned around 5111 and you've also got a ton of cloud wallpapers with around 128. Now first off you can see here from this icon pack that there is a very limited color palette and you do also have some random icons in here as well. So for things like Android 10, Android Oreo but you've also got your normal array of icons like Google icons, different games and things like that but the color palette you're looking at a lot of pink, blue and also some neon colours and that also translates over to the wallpapers as well. Now don't get me wrong some of these wallpapers do look extremely nice but if you're going to be using a wallpaper like this along with the icon pack it may be a little bit of colour overload however some of these wallpapers are nice in general so maybe get this icon pack just for the wallpapers alone. So again if I go ahead and actually apply the icon pack it is going to look a little bit strange with my current setup because again the wallpaper that I'm using isn't really in my my opinion that's suitable for the icons now they would also look nicer in my opinion also in a white backgrounded app drawer as well so if I go into the app drawer as you can see here they do look nice some of the colors pop as well but it can look a little bit washed out and again if you're using a darker theme that will kind of alleviate that option but overall I think the icon pack does look very nice you do have some questionable colors with whatsapp and spotify but something like snapchat does look very nice and unique as well and the call of duty mode icon is probably one of the best icons that I've seen and I may just use that icon in general for that specific application but they do look nice there's some very bright colors to them it would look nice in my opinion on a darker background or app drawer but overall if you want something a little bit different the unicorn icon pack is for you and that's going to do it guys for this video on the top Android icon packs of November 2019 now if you saw anything that you enjoyed in this video it's going to be linked in that description box down below so you 
guys can go ahead and download any of these icon packs and if you want to send them to me once they're on your device then you can do on Instagram and Twitter just make sure that you're tagging copper versus glass if you've got any questions or comments about anything in this video let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at copper versus glass and for more great content don't forget to subscribe if you're already subscribed a massive thank you if not hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.